Hi everyone, I'm glad you're here. Thank you very much for joining me. It is Wednesday, May 14th, 2025. We had two X players, uh, one yesterday and one early this morning. Uh, they rocked the sun. Um, the first one was at 1525 Universal Time or 10 a.m. Central Daylight Time. It came from Sunspot Region AR4086. As it began to rotate out of the view in the west. Now what's interesting about the sun. It's opposite east and west as it is here on earth. The west is over here on the right hand side of the sun. Where east is on the left side of the sun. Um, so then we had another X flare. At 8.04 universal time. Or 3.02 a.m. this morning. And that one came from Sunspot Area A4, um, AR4087 as it rotated into view in the east. So, yeah, um, we're going to have to keep an eye on this one area on the east, AR4087, as it looks pretty active. Let me show you something. Here we have a view of the sun. You can see that this one region on the east, yeah, it's opposite compared to Earth east and west yeah it's going to be really active and within a week it's going to probably be within the center of the solar disk earth directed this one's going out of view on the west and then we got the uh, corona holes we actually got two of them pretty significant one here that's going to be rotating towards the earth and then we got a smaller one it takes about 14 days for the sun to make a rotation from east to west. You have 14 days to make that complete rotation across Earth facing. So here's the first X flare. Um, A, oh, excuse me, X1.1, more coffee. Thank you to those of you that bought me coffee, by the way. Thank you. I have the dogs woke me up at 6 o'clock this morning, what now? And then we got the second one, which they are now saying was an X2.7 and then we got um, an M class an M5.2 and then another one which was almost an X uh, that one was M7.74 uh, and then we got this one here M197 here's another image of the Sun from spaceweather.com yeah, you can see it's going to be pretty active over here for um, uh, AR4687. And then the one that's going out of view, um, AR4086. Let me make this one bigger for you. Luckily, neither of these X-class solar flares were Earth-directed. So there's no threat to radio communication or people in planes or power outages. But as this sunspot region comes around, yeah, you have to be prepared. You just don't know. We could have another X-class flare that will be Earth-directed. And they do affect people's health. A lot of people don't realize how um, there's more people admitted to emergency rooms during an incident of solar flares. Yeah, more agitation, more road rage. Yeah, it affects their moods. It affects your blood pressure. Yeah, all kinds of stuff. Yeah, hard to believe and sad to say it also affects pregnant women. Lots of time they go into early labor um, during solar activity. But it's just a matter of time before we have an event where we do have power outages and it affects our communications. Um, hope people are prepared. You have some sort of form of um, backup for communication or power so thank you for watching as always people do need to be prepared for any type of disaster thank you for watching please like share and subscribe make sure you're still subscribed for some reason the uh, AI here on <laughs> YouTube likes to unsubscribe people and it started it again please stay safe and I'll talk to you later God bless y'all. Bye.